okay so the very first topic what we have to study guys salesforce project in it company so salesforce project in it company we have seen yesterday about this project activities teams and meetings so what are project activities what are project activities did you do revision or not okay. whoever is speaking his voice is very slow coming so let me ask from one of you ashok do you know like what are project activities uh yes actually project activities are the activities which an individual uh mm. needs to complete to achieve the project success hmm. i mean daily activities that we are doing like project activities like what are the task what are the things that you are doing to accomplish that yes yes uh, that's what i have mean. thank you okay anyone else debashish what are project activities project activities yeah. are something uh like uh, which the task which will be completed by, uh, by the team members and to achieve our goal the mm -hmm. okay any offline people what are project activities any views from your side okay so anyone in the class who don't know what are project activities was new to this today's class and he don't know what are project activities uh, raghavendra are you there in yesterday's class or first time you are attending this class uh, raghavendra do you know like what are project activities now okay so Raghavendra, if you are speaking, then might be you are on mute. Unmute yourself. So I think all of you has... Okay. Prinka, what are project activities? Prinka, are you there? Actually, uh, just uh, yeah. I actually stepped out for a minute. Okay. Yeah, so project activity is something like it's a task related to the project. Whenever we are assigned to a, any project, so whatever mm. task is assigned to the uh, mm. uh, members or some other team, whatever, mm. so mm. that activities is related to the project activities like knowledge transfer, developing, or um, like a training session, any training session, whatever activities we are involved during the project completion, successful project completion, those are called the project activities. Okay, so project activities, I'm again telling you, project activities are the activities that we are doing. So see, we have seen yesterday, but few people didn't answer and few are new so i'm telling again so it is a daily work or daily activities that we are doing time to time activities that we are doing in our project okay like posting the comments on for our work so activities that we are doing meetings that we are doing those are called project activities okay second thing is teams what are teams so i will ask you don't uh one of the candidate teams mm, ramya what are teams teams are nothing but in the project like we have development testing and deployment team and every individual let's have own objective that's it okay rashi what are teams yes teams are nothing but the group of people who are working together to achieve the same goal and they are like a testing team, deploying team, development team, Correct. business analyst Correct. team, ex mm. etc. Mm. 
exactly so whoever don't know about teams teams are nothing but a group of people who are working together to achieve a certain objective like we need to complete the task so teams are working there so we have a different different teams like for the development we have a development team for the deployment we have a deployment team for testing we have a testing team for business for doing the business we have a business development team that means we are having different different teams working to achieve the objective whatever objective it is to achieve a certain task so we are working with the teams so group of people means group of people will be having see suppose if if i assign one team like after three months I shortlisted 10 candidates naming Brenka, Raghvindra, Ramya, Raj. Like these are the good people, for example. And I will be starting one project. And in that project, I will be handling this team. And I will be leading this team with these developers. I am going to start my work. So that is a team. So group of people that are working together. So if you see here, teams. So we have a different teams in the project, like development team, testing team, business team, deployment team. Every team has its own objective and every team member has its own objective. Okay, fine. Then what are meetings? What are meetings? What do you mean by the meetings here? Yes, guys, anyone? Offline people or online people, anyone? What are meetings? Uh, meeting is an organized uh, grouping, uh, organized gathering or occasion of number of people uh, in order to discuss something, like discuss a task mm -hmm. or a goal, mm -hmm. like we are having today. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Anyone else wants to add any point or wants to explain? Yeah. Wants meetings, to speak? Meetings are nothing but uh, uh, what are the activities are going on day by day. We have to update in that meeting like a stand up meetings and uh, yeah, weekly meetings which we mm -hmm. take the project activities and completion activities mm -hmm. comparison like that mm -hmm. meetings are happening to us. Okay. Okay. Fine. Means meetings are you know now what are meetings. Anyone else who wants to add anything? Sairam, what are meetings? Yeah, we are not able to hear you. Can you uh, speak a little louder? We are not able to hear it clearly. Actually, can you just come to your mic or whatever headset? Okay, fine. So I think, Sainam, you have some internet issues. So we are not able to hear it clearly. Okay, so meetings are nothing that is being told. Like we have different meetings, like daily stand-up meeting. Like in the project, wherever you are going. So this meeting will be there the meeting we normally say this meeting as a daily stand up and why this meeting is happening this meeting is happening for discussing the daily progress of our task okay for example if we are having one of the two member who is leaving the project so we are playing planning for the favorable party so that we can plan some games so we assign this plan to two junior team members so after two days we set up one meeting to check the progress exactly like suppose what i do is like um one of your team member, one of your, like you're working in a project and one of your team member is leaving the organization. So I'm having two junior members. So I sign that, okay, we will plan some farewell. We will plan some games. So just, just uh, discuss with the, your member, team member, and uh, we will discuss it tomorrow. We will have one meeting. So what is the agenda of that meeting? The agenda of the meeting is some objective we are having, what we need to discuss in that meeting. Same thing we are having in the daily stand-up meeting, like what you are doing today and what you are going to do tomorrow. Like what you are doing today, what task you have done today, what particular thing you have performed in your project. 
so that you need to tell and what you are going to do it in the next day so that we are doing in the meetings so see in the salesforce project whenever you are going so for the project activities one thing you will be hearing that is customer what is a customer client client is a customer in which we are dealing daily you will be hearing one term that is called customer that is nothing but a client our client for which we are working one is developer that you are working and you are handling the project activities so that your work will be completed on time then you will be hearing the teams like we have different teams one is development team and every project is having different different team one is deployment team one is testing team one is business team there is some other teams also that you may heard whenever you go into your project so different different teams we are having then meetings for that meeting we are having different meetings for that okay so i think these are the very simple terms that i think you are now know like what are project activities what are teams and what are meetings so let's move forward then we have studied about the salesforce introduction also so what are salesforce what is salesforce first of all tell me what is salesforce what according to you salesforce Uh, Salesforce is application which provides uh, uh, solutions to customers mm -hmm. as per mm -hmm. the requirement how we can mm -hmm. utilize that application by different mm -hmm. way of services, uh, some different clouds by using mm -hmm. the clouds, different type of clouds. As per mm -hmm. the client or customer requirement, we are providing mm -hmm. the, we are getting the uh, mm -hmm. tools or mm -hmm. utilities from Salesforce application. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyone else who wants to add some points? Because you are all studying Salesforce training. So till now you are aware what is Salesforce. Okay, Pratmesh, do you know like what is Salesforce? Pratmesh, are you there in the class? Okay, Pratmesh is not there. Okay, Nisha, what is Salesforce? Salesforce is nothing but it is a platform uh, where you mm -hmm. can, you know, uh, build mm -hmm. different applications. You also can serve build applications. Different applications. Uh -huh. And uh, it is a cloud platform uh, where mm -hmm. you do not need great infrastructure. Mm -hmm. You do not need to invest a lot of money, which is also cost effective. Mm -hmm. Correct. So the correct. We don't need to invest much money. It is a cost effective. Okay. I need some more points. So who is going to explain me? Let me pick up now. What is Salesforce? Hey, hi. Uh, this is more about a CRM platform CRM where platform. you can have your orders recorded. A client information mm -hmm. is there which helps organization mm -hmm. in details about, you know, who are the mm -hmm. prospective client interested in doing a purchase mm -hmm. from them. Mm -hmm. Okay. Divakar, what is Salesforce? So, Salesforce is a cloud-based CRM platform. Cloud-based CRM platform, okay. It is mainly focused on sales, customer service, and marketing, mm. and mm. automation, and many more. Mm. Okay. So, Salesforce is nothing but a cloud-based CRM that is providing you different service. We are having different, different tools also. So, Salesforce is a CRM that is providing you. Let me open the Notepad++. Plus plus. So Salesforce is a CRM, cloud-based CRM. That is providing different services. I 
like sales it is providing different service we are having different clouds like sales service marketing it provides 360 degree view cost effective very less cost you need to spend customization you can do let us build the platform different tools we are having to achieve this for example i am having my laptop business now what i do build i build one website so whenever i build a website using salesforce so by my home only i can sell the laptop we are having the website people from all over india can just choose the laptop model and they can just do the payment okay any other point that you want to add in this what is salesforce anyone offline people or online people anyone can add anyone can tell me whatever you think about salesforce very effective mm -hmm. we can access the platform from anywhere and anytime with an internet connection we can access the platform from anywhere and any time right we can access the platform from anywhere and at any time it increases the efficiency and productivity also okay it increases the efficiency and productivity at the end one thing so okay it increases the efficiency and productivity uh, it allows us to do a single sign on option Single sign on that is different thing. So that we will see when we see the single sign on because that is a heavy term. Many people will not be able to understand. Okay. Single sign on it allow us like from wherever like you can do the single sign on. Definitely it allow us to do the single sign on. But that is a term that is not clear to everyone. That is a whole like when we do the integration there I will tell like what exactly single sign on is like there this terminology will come for single sign on. Okay. okay. But it allow that is fine. Any other thing that you know on Salesforce? So Coming to data security, data mm -hmm. security is there for in Salesforce. Mm -hmm. Okay, data security is there. My security features it provides. Like yeah. if somebody asks you, like why we require Salesforce? Why we are using Salesforce? How security is is there? So one point you can add data security is there. Any other security like servers is there? You have heard the name of servers that you will see. Okay. So now you know like what is Salesforce, right? So in the Salesforce, we are having the different, different services. Salesforce services. So what are Salesforce services? Software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Okay. So Salesforce provides you the different services. One is software as a service, one is platform as a service, and one is infrastructure as a service. So what is software as a service? What is software as a service? So it provides us a predefined CRM, predefined software, predefined CRM or standard features. Predefined CRM or standard features or standard software which we can use so software service means see salesforce has built its product so what happened is like mark benioff is a person who makes this salesforce so he was working in the oracle company and he saw some challenges like these are the different different challenges that people are facing so he make the product that we named as salesforce in 1999 and he just put the features great features like sales marketing 
service these features he has put it into the sales force so if the people want to use that features only they don't want to use any customization whatever software this sales force has made this product has made if you want to use those services those we call it as software as a service okay so this is a one of the service that sales force is providing you that is called software as a service now, if anyone wants to add any point in this software as a service, please, it's welcome. Or if you are clear with that, then I will ask you, like, what does software as a service? Is it clear, like, what is SaaS here? It is not like that SaaS that people think, okay? It is software as a service. Okay, so, Narendra, what explain, according to you? Can you explain with any other example, uh, means of software? Okay. As per the CRM, it's okay. But uh, mm -hmm. in a live, what the activities in the SaaS, it will happen. Hmm. Means apart from Salesforce, you want this eggs. Like what C standard features like it offers. Are you yeah. saying like that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. See, suppose you open the Microsoft World. Okay. So with the Microsoft World, what are the features that you can do? You can create a document. You can make it as a bold. You can make it as an italic. These are the standard features, or you are making those features in, in there only. No, no, this no. Is this is a software that you are getting. Or yeah. if if I say about this PPT, so if see it in this PPT, we are having this design. So these are the standard. Like I can select the custom design also, but these are the standard templates that are provided by Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. So that means standard features here. So we are not this microsoft product whatever features we are providing we want to use that only saas software service whatever features it is providing you want to do that features only so that is software as a service you don't want to make our own features whatever features are provided by the product whatever features like when we build this product when salesforce is building this product so whatever features he has implemented we want to use that features only that is software as a service Okay, now it's clear. Got it. Okay. So, what is software as a service? Uh, who is the speaker today? Mm. Venkat, what is software as a service? Uh, it is uh, having the two different business logics. Already mm -hmm. built in Salesforce so that uh, other clients can use. Mm -hmm. Like a plug and play like that. So like uh, they're just having to do little modifications in the standard and then they can uh, plug it in their business and process it. Anyone else who wants to give more clear definition on software as a service? There are so many guys, 20 people are 19, 18 people are there and only one view is coming and offline people you can also participate you can also say i think some voice we can listen from you also shubangi what the software service it's a subscription based services uh, mm -hmm. client can choose uh, it's renew mm -hmm. or continue uh, in this uh, in this service okay. so standard services if you want to use standard features whatever features we have built on only those features i want to use like i give you an example of microsoft ppt standard features whatever standard features it has given you the templates i want to use those templates only so that is software as a service okay now the next one the next service it provides you that is platform as a service so this is a service that is most useful why so what happen is salesforce provides you one platform that platform you can use for customization that means you came to me I tell you the standard features of a Salesforce, but you want to make a custom website. You want to make custom features. You want to make, you want a platform over which I can create, I can code it, I can create a website, I can write my business logic, I can create a UI. 
So you want a particular platform. So which particular platform? This will give you the particular platform that you are getting is course.com platform. Over which we can do coding. So in Salesforce, we are getting this platform as a service. So platform as a service means a particular platform over which we can do our customization. See, in software as a service, what we are having in this software as a service, we are getting the predefined features or standard features of a Salesforce. Whatever Salesforce has built on, we are getting those features and we can just uh, make on those features but here what we are having is here here in the customer platform as a service we can build our own customization that brings you this salesforce as a powerful salesforce as a powerful crm as world's number one crm because here if you are not liking the features then you can use the custom features you can build the features using this particular force.com platform that is called platform as a service okay understand what is platform as a service now rashi sairam shubangi ramya ragvendra you understand what is platform as a service that yeah. particular platform here we are getting over which we can make our coding over which yeah. we can do whatever you want to do like you came to me like, okay, you came to me, uh, I'm having like insurance application. There is an insurance application. Now in this insurance, ap insurance application, I want to build these things like when the insurance is insured, date of insurance. Whenever a person is making an insurance, when a person is having the bike insurance, Okay, he insured the bike insurance on 7th November. So we will capture the following details. You want to build this information. We will capture the following details like insured name, who is the insurance person, bike number. What is the cost he has made? Okay, nominee details. Who is a nominee? email id phone number and you want to store this information in salesforce and you also want to send an email you also want to send an email send the email to email id so is it possible in the standard features no not at all this is a custom application this is a custom application that you want to build okay or if i say in the insurance application for the month of november we are having different companies which are providing you the insurance we are having the different companies which are providing you the insurance so companies with 10% off and it's premium and they are providing you the EMI also for three months so you want to capture those company details and there is one button pay the cost after paying the cost again this will be opening insured name bike number cost nominee details email id and phone number so if you want to build this customization it comes to you obviously this customization will be coming whenever you are joining any company so these particular customizations will come to you so whenever this customization will be coming to you so what you will be requiring here you cannot do it with the SaaS. the standard features of a salesforce it will not be possible we need to use the custom features of a salesforce so for that it test be requiring platform as a service okay so in the platform as a service lot of service salesforce provides so that we will seeing in the part of the course okay clear what does platform as a service we will going to explain now okay need a new speaker this time mm -hmm.
I will explain. There is no new speaker. Okay, Shurshita. What is pass platform as a service according to you now? Are you there? Yes, sir, I am there. Yeah. Can you tell me in your words, whatever you feel, no worries, whatever you feel, you can tell that platform as a service. What is that platform as a service? Uh, this is a platform which is used for a customization of a, where we can write all the information. Uh, mm. Mm. This is uh, a particular platform, yeah. right? Mm. Yeah. Okay. So this is a particular platform over which we can do the customization. And in Salesforce, how you are getting this? In Salesforce, we, we will show you how we are getting this particular platform. When we do the practical, then I will show you like how can we do this. But this is a service, platform as a service. Platform as a service means we can do the customization according to our requirement. And see, if I say you, like we cannot do any customization. Only we can make the standard features of a Salesforce. Whatever standard features are there, we can build on those features. Only then we can do it. So it will not be useful. Yes, Chuck. Oh, are yeah, you raising your hand? Tell me. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Uh, um, sorry, sorry. This is my first, today is my first day. Um, okay. So, uh, based on my understanding, um, platform as a service is like, uh, Salesforce provides the underlying platform for mm. um, development and mm. testing and mm. Mm. whatever we do on you know on Salesforce, right? So mm. it provides the underlying platform for testing, development, um, mm. delivery, and managing of software applications. Mm. That's my own right. Idea, yeah? Good understanding. You have like Salesforce provides a particular platform for development. Even if for a testing, also like you need to do the testing, whatever you're building. So for that, you need to build the code first. If you want to build a website, so for that, we are getting a platform that is called Developer Console. Force.com platform, Salesforce is providing you, over which we can do our customization. Okay, fair enough. Now, we will move to the, the, the next one. That is infrastructure as a service. This is an important one. What is this infrastructure as a service? What service here we are getting in the infrastructure as a service? What do you mean by infrastructure? Offline people who are sitting in Swapna Institute. So you are using the Swapna's Institute infrastructure. You are using the room. Okay. Or some are using the pens also. Some are using the copies also. Whoever is there like laptops. You are using your own laptops. We are not providing you the laptop, so we are using your own laptop. So infrastructure, like how you are using your infrastructure. So how we are using the infrastructure of Salesforce? We are using somewhat, we are using the infrastructure. So the question is how we are using the infrastructure of Salesforce. Like if you go to school, everybody goes to school or college, Right. Everyone is going to school and colleges in their school time and college time. So whenever you go to the school or college, there what you are using, you are using the infrastructure. You are using the build. You are you are using school buildings. Okay. And sometimes when you write the paper, so they provide you one sheet over which you are writing the paper. So again, you are using the infrastructure of a school. So same here, we are using the infrastructure of Salesforce and how we are using the infrastructure of a Salesforce here. We are using the infrastructure of a Salesforce using servers. So we have Salesforce server and every org is using that server. Okay. So we are having the Salesforce servers and every org. Org means when you sign up. So whenever you are sign up, up, so you will be getting one org. So we are using the infrastructure of a Salesforce using the servers. So here we use the servers. So whenever we are using the servers, that means we are using the infrastructure of Salesforce. So these are the different services, like one of the few services that Salesforce is providing you software as a service platform as a service or infrastructure as a service. So what is software as a service? Who is going to explain this now? Anyone who can raise their hand, I will give you the chance. Software as a service. No one is interested. 
to answer this software service now okay uh, can i yeah yeah, uh, can I, yeah. Yeah, one by one, uh, but now you can go ahead and thus can we... So, when you say software, uh, what I understand is uh, in specific mm. terms to Salesforce, it will be the user mm. licenses, uh, the, mm. uh, the um, persona in terms of attributes which the Salesforce mm. organization platforms avail avail mm. a user, uh, mm. the different types of logins. That is mm. what would be as a software which will give. Maybe it is um, based on CPU based or it may be based on the compute. That's how they would uh, have different ways of sending it to us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any other who wants to say? Chuck O. Is your name is Chuck O? Like, what's your name? Because it is. Yeah. Okay. Um, from my own understanding, um, software as a service is a method of. Uh, Kind of delivering software applications over the internet mm. based on on demand services or based on subscription mm. basis. Mm. Okay. Uh, Ashok, do you want to also answer? I think one more person or Raj who is there who wants to answer. Yeah. Uh, coming to Salesforce, actually, what I know, uh, yes. SaaS means what are the uh, objects what are the things what are the clouds they are providing to us which we are using mini, minimum customization by mm -hmm. to reach our to reach our requirements that mm -hmm. is called as saas mm. without without getting any customization uh, getting any new new requirements what the cloud we utilize that is called as saas okay Uh, Ra Madhu, do you want to go next? Oh, yes. Software as a service. Yeah. Uh, okay. Basically, every software is having a couple of uh, features. Like those features will not be exposed to every everyone, but they will be exposed on demand. So, if any or uh, any company want to utilize those service, those features, features. Uh, of the software, then the software will be providing those features to those uh, those clients. So here mm -hmm. we are providing the software and these features mm -hmm. for free. So it, it is like software as a service. Okay. In terms of Salesforce, we have uh, the sales cloud, service cloud, mm -hmm. and uh, marketing cloud so mm. whoever the client is opting for if client is opting only for the sales service uh mm. sales cloud then we are providing only sales cloud to the client and uh they will utilize this sales force as a service for uh, running their business operations okay so you all say in very deep so today we are discussing what is only so that's fine there's few of you say in the deep Anyone else wants to say anything? Rashi, Ramya, you want to speak on that software service? Yeah, uh, In two or three lines only, not more than that. Can I? Yeah, just want to speak. Okay. Yeah, uh, so software as a service is a cloud based uh, service. Mm. So, mm. which is actually uh, like providing a software with uh, predefined mm. settings on that and. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, it is actually a service which we like uh, we do not need to install the software but we can use it on web like uh, uh, since it is cloud based since it's a cloud based we can utilize that exactly we can do that okay yeah anyone else who wants to add any other points here in software service Yeah, for me, um, it's just based, uh, based um, it's like um, accessing mm -hmm. like a ready-made application, uh, mm -hmm. developed by Salesforce, right? Like when the customer accessing the ready-made application on rental basis, uh, mm -hmm. that's my understanding of software as a service. So it's a ready-made software, right, that a customer accesses. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, fine. So ready-made software, we can say ready-made applications, we can say standard features, we can say standard cloud-based CRM, like which is offering you the standard screen, standard buttons. So this is a particular software as a service means. Okay, then what is platform as a service? Pass, what, a, what is according to you pass then? Platform as a service, guys, we have discussed this. What is platform as a service? We can customize anything as per client requirement. Mm -hmm. It's a so platform as a service may be something like um, uh, the company's buying and infrastructure is uh, given off complete hardware, like uh, maybe a VMware platform is built up. Uh, similarly, a software hardware is given off to the companies on which they can do their own customization and spin the virtual machines as they want rather than getting a pre-configured uh, smaller machines. Okay. Anyone else who wants to add any other point here? Offline people, are you there? Do you want to add any points? So as I said, um, Salesforce provides mm -hmm. the underlying um, platform, right? for development, testing, delivery, and managing of software applications. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want to add a one point here, uh, just. Um, yes, Pringa. Yeah, so PaaS is a live platform as a service. So Salesforce provide, Salesforce is a tool which is developed on the force.com platform. So here force.com in the case of the Salesforce, force.com is a platform and so software, uh, sorry, Salesforce is a tool, CRM tool, which is built on the force.com platform. And is pass is basically it provides the providing the software for various uh, features like it provides the various features like point and click application, multilingual languages uh, application mm -hmm. and uh, with, uh, like it's basically providing a platform where we can do the mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. That is okay. Fine. Like it is a particular platform over which you can customize it and as Prinka said. So these are the things that we can do it. Okay. So it is clear what is platform as a service. Yeah, Guys, it is clear to you. Yeah, got it. Okay. Then what is infrastructure as a service? What is IAS? Yeah, yes, please go ahead. Yeah, what are the what our requirement is getting to utilize uh, resources from the application source resources from the application that is called infrastructure as a service. Can you come again? What is infrastructure as a service? To achieve, achieve our application by using their uh, resources mm -hmm. uh, is called yeah. as infrastructure as a service. Okay. Anyone else wants to add any other points in the infrastructure as a service? Uh, for me, uh, uh, infrastructure as a service is all about you know the Salesforce on server resources like the memory um, performance security. So with that we can just rent the um, IT infrastructure like the server, the virtual machines, the networks, um, the operating system from the cloud provider which is Salesforce on the pay as you go basis. So basically like the server resources, yeah. basically infrastructure service means like we want to use the infrastructure of that particular product so whenever if you want to use the infrastructure of that particular product then we are going with the infrastructure as a service in salesforce we are using the servers we are having the different servers 
since we are using the different servers of a Salesforce, we want to use that servers. So in every org, we are having a different server. So whenever we want to use a servers of Salesforce, we are going with the infrastructure as a service here. Okay. So we have a different server. So that we will see in a later part, like how can we use a servers in Salesforce? So whenever if you want to use a servers of a Salesforce, we are going with the infrastructure as a service. So these are the Salesforce services that we are getting in the Salesforce introduction. Like how can we do them? Okay, then the next thing is front-end, back-end, business logic technologies. What is front-end? What is a front-end technology? What according to you is front-end? Front end technology. How can you work on that front end technology? It's a user interface. Yes. Yeah. The user interface. Okay. So suppose if you log in to any site so the user interface that is coming so that is a particular thing like suppose if we log into this hdfc bank so this is a user interface this this is a ui this is a user interface this is what nothing but a ui and suppose if you logged in and whenever you logged in using customer id and password so that is going into the database so that is a back end or if you're getting some data like so the data that is present that is called backend and this is a user interface whatever if you're seeing here so that is nothing but that is a front end here okay. so front end means the user interface that we are getting and the backend means the data that we are getting that is called backend here okay so front end is user interface and the backend means the data which is present in the database and we are reflecting that data using reflecting the data on the page using the programming how can you reflect the data using the page using the programming that we call fx programming in other languages we are having different things like if you talked about the asp.net or java so we are having different things there. But in the Salesforce, we are going to use the backend. We are going to reflect the data using the programming language Apex. In detail, I will tell you how can we do using that. But that is the front-end and back-end technology, how we are going to work on the front-end technology and the back-end technology. You understand what is front-end, what is back-end, guys? Shubangi, yes. what is front-end according to you? Shivangi, what is front end? Uh, it's a user interface. Ah, user interface and okay. Narendra, what does back end? In the user interface where user can interact with the application. Okay. Anyone else wants to add any points for the front end back end? Okay. Let me go to the PPT again. So the Salesforce introduction, we are having the Salesforce services. We are having front end, we are having back end. Then we are having the business logic technologies. What are business logic technologies? Anyone has any idea business logic technologies? Yeah, business logic technologies is like whatever logic we are developing mm -hmm. uh, to pick the data from the server and we manipulate with the data and we show it to the front end. 
so uh, business logic comes like whatever logic we put inside like if age is greater than this one then we have to display this then we have to do all such kind of the calculation such kind of the things in the business logic technologies so business logic is nothing but the logic that we are going to write like based on some rules or if i say like i need to get the largest number smallest number data i want to reflect for that i will use a business logic so for that we are having the different different technologies business logic technologies it can we can turn it from the asp.net also we can turn it from the java also we can turn it from some other language also c language also so the different different business logic technologies we are having okay then salesforce technologies in the salesforce we are having different technologies through which we will we are going to display the data using the apex using the lwc using the lightning using the visual force pages using the visual force component so that we are going to see in the salesforce technology salesforce is having lot of technologies so we are going to see one by one like how can we make that okay then we comes to the salesforce basics in the salesforce basic we have the storage additions and releases okay so what is salesforce storage what are storage okay what are storage guys like particularly if you take a iphone so you will ask like what is the storage of this they will tell you like the storage of this is 256 gb or 128 gb right similarly in the salesforce the additions we have the storage for some additions we have a less storage for some additions we are having a greater storage so storage are those things so storage are nothing how much data we can store in the salesforce so it is just like the phone storage for some mobile phone we will get the storage of 128 gb for some we will get 256 gb so same concept of the storage we will follow in the salesforce so the addition the free addition that we are using that you are going to work so for that addition we are getting the storage of around 5 mb for other additions you are getting the storage something else so how much data you can store that is about the storages in salesforce you understand what are storage in salesforce and this is a just what are how it will be performed that i will tell you okay so it is just we are following you the course module that how we are going to cover like what are what are those what are those so that in the starting only you should be able to know like what are the things what are the topics that i need to learn because what happens like when we do this course is so the people are not aware of the course only course content they are not aware like what things they have to learn what things they have to do so that's why we follow this practical approach like we will go three or four days we will follow you the course content like what is the course content that will be in your mind okay whenever you are going anywhere okay you are going to some friend's home okay i need to study what are salesforce storage open the copy read it what are salesforce storage what are salesforce servers okay so storage are nothing but how much data you want to store in the salesforce so for example the real life example whenever you are going to take a mobile phone definitely whenever you are going to take a mobile phone you will ask the storage like how much storage we are going to take and play taken care here the same concept of the storage we are following here also okay then the next one additions what are additions additions are something like uh suppose if you go to your book shop so book on the book shop also we are having the different different additions book 2.0 book 3.0 maths edition latest edition of a maths has come rs agarwal latest edition has come up right so additions are nothing in salesforce we are having different different additions some are free additions and some are paid additions free additions we are going to use paid additions companies are going to use okay so normally that that happens the same additions we are having additions in salesforce so additions we will study in detail whenever we are going to take and care of this topic so what are additions in salesforce different different types of features we offer so different different type of features and services in this particular addition to achieve your business needs we are offering you the standard we are offering you the some bundle of features and services so few are 
free additions, few are paid additions. In the paid additions, we are having different different additions in Salesforce. Clear? What are additions in Salesforce? Aparna, Narendra, Prinka, Rashi. What's the user addition in Salesforce? To get the features. To if you are paying less, you are getting less feature. If you are paying more, you are getting more features. So in the additions, we are having nothing. Additions are the specific features that we are going to use, specific services that you are getting in the additions. Like if you take taken care, if you take Samsung S4, in the Samsung S4, you will get lesser future. But if you take Samsung S10, you will get more future. That means you will get uh, uh, good, great features, great camera, you will be getting great storage you will be getting if you take on the more phone more storage phone more cost you are paying same goes with the additions part also if you are paying more then we are getting more here okay then the last one licenses this is an important one what are licenses licenses means user access to salesforce products and futures so license are nothing but the user access to salesforce products and future so how we are accessing the salesforce products and futures for that we are having the licenses for example you have a driving license so if we have the driving license we have the access to drive the car no one can stop us in that particular case same concept we are following in salesforce for licenses So this is a particular future that licenses is having, but I think we're left with one future before the license. I think some slide is overridden here. So the future concept we're having is of releases. So I think that is mismatched. Okay. So licenses is not there here. So after the additions, we have future of releases. So I will go with this future. What are releases in Salesforce? So releases are nothing. Futures that Salesforce is giving you. So what happened is, see, what are releases? In a simple definition, Salesforce has released his product. Okay. So whenever Salesforce has released his product, now he wants to give some latest features. He wants to give upgrades. So they cannot give you the updates daily. Like, okay, we are going to use, we are going to upgrade this. You are using the object. So we are going to update the object. You are going to use this. You are going to update this. That will not be happening daily. So whatever latest updates, latest updates or features, new future. If Salesforce wants to give So if the new future or, or they will, if they want to give you latest update or Salesforce future, if they want to give you, then they will give you in the releases. They will give you in releases. Okay. So if the Salesforce wants to give you the latest features or latest updates, so Salesforce will not give you these features or updates daily. They are giving you these features or latest updates in the releases. So they are giving you these particular features in the releases. Whenever Salesforce wants to give the features or latest updates, how they will give you, they will give you these particular features, these updates in the releases. And for every, every four months, Salesforce will be having its new release. 
salesforce will be having the new release so how salesforce will give a release for every four months they will give you the releases so either the new features or latest updates if salesforce wants to gives you so how this particular latest update or latest future salesforce will give you the salesforce will give you the latest features and latest updates with the releases or any future any existing future if salesforce wants to finish if salesforce wants to finish then also they will give you in the release only okay if any new feature if salesforce wants to give you so that all that new feature also they will give you in the release only okay so that's how the future of the releases will go like if whenever if salesforce wants to give you the new releases new features new updates so salesforce will give you the releases for every four months salesforce will be having the new releases any existing feature if salesforce wants to finish then how they can finish they can finish it with the releases in salesforce are you clear with the releases in salesforce what are releases in salesforce aparna ashok are you clear with the releases in salesforce yes yes prinka ragvendra raj yes yes yeah okay okay fine madhu are you there yes yes no i'm not asking from you i'm asking yeah, from you i've got any coming to class okay okay so i'm handing over to you so we are stopping here for today so we will he will take care for the next 30 minutes so thank you sir thank you okay he will take care so just give him one or two minutes okay just uh, we will add some what is next topic after salesforce yeah. basics yeah. salesforce crm how many topics are there in salesforce crm two topics salesforce products crowds crm architecture overview what is heading for this first one salesforce, salesforce projects in it companies here we have three sub topics project activities Teams meetings. Teams meetings. In the next topic, you are not sharing the screen. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, Salesforce projects in IT companies. So we have three topics. Um, then in sales here in second topic what is main topic here sales force introduction we have three topics sales force services front end back end business logic sales force technologies here third one sales force basics So nine plus three, two all topics we remember. Now fifth one. What is fifth topic? C R M. In this we are going to discuss. Huh? What happened, Monica? I didn't get. Oh, okay. Number I wrote wrong. 
So sorry. I have some shortage of memory. Okay, Salesforce CRM. In Salesforce CRM, we have two subtopics. Salesforce products are clouds, then CRM architecture overview. So how many? 12 plus 3, 15. 10 plus 4, uh, 11 plus 4, 15. Logically correcting. 10 plus 5, how much? 11 plus 4? Here, which logic you have to apply? 11 plus 4 or 10 plus 5? 11 plus 4, 4. Getting? Don't confuse your brain. Confuse others too. Because here, four main topics are there. 11 subtopics are there. Logically, we have to remember 11 plus 4, not 10 plus 5. Prudvi, Vargo and uh, Sheshidhar. We should confuse others, not our brain. So 11 plus 4, 15 topics. 15 topics we have to remember now. In this 15 topics, Swami, what is uh, in fourth? What is two topics in fourth? Already you wrote in notebook and you are looking in notebook. Ah, uh, tell me. Uh, good. Uh, next. Yeah, very good. So you have to remember like this. Yeah, you can go in. Cool water, hot, both are available. In Salesforce CRM, we have Salesforce products and clouds and CRM architecture overview. You need to understand Salesforce products and clouds. Why? Because when you are going to company, you are going to work on either one project or two projects. That project might be one of the cloud or product. We have sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud, health cloud, community cloud. Like these different clouds are there. You have to work on one of the project. Might be for your three years experience, they will give only one project. If you give second project, you will tell, oh, no, I will not work. No, you have to tell. In company, we should not sit mom. Oh, I am fake. <laughs> they will remove something if I speak. And don't act too smart. Oh, no, I don't want this manager. <laughs> don't do, do like that. We can fight for our... I mean, so you, you are going with some knowledge. They have selected you. That means you have some value. Otherwise, they will not select. It might be through backdoor or proxy. They don't know. We know it. <laughs> okay. Be confident. So, you are going to work on one of the products. So, you, Madam and Shivendu sir, explain marketing cloud, sales cloud, service cloud, FIS and CPQ, not in detail of CPQ. They will give knowledge on it. So, for your project, whatever you are going to explain in your interview, that project you will understand how to explain. If you, if you have understanding of sales cloud, service cloud, marketing cloud, how that functionality is there, in our entire course, we are going to work on that only. So you will be easily explaining if they ask you what is your project, what you have done. And he is going to remove your BMCA and he is going to put three years experience. Cheshdar, you will put two. We do like that too. cheating things. <laughs> Okay, so now tell me what is 14th and 15th topic? Huh? Salesforce product code and CRM architecture. So now 14th and 15th for today is Salesforce, Salesforce products and clouds, CRM architecture over you, and main topics in 14th and 15th. Same, yeah. 
14th one what is 14th one okay. main topic 15th you are online people you are getting right yes sir yeah got it so like this you have to map so now what i will do is i will take some paint In the paint, how many services Salesforce is providing? How many services Salesforce is providing? Oh, what, are, what are those services? Marketing. Not uh, services. Salesforce services. In Salesforce introduction, you are discussed about Salesforce services, right? How many services they are providing? What are those? Software as a service. What is meaning of software as a service? What is as a service? And second one, what service they are providing? Fourth one? So, first three words changed. Software, platform, infrastructure. But as a service, it is not changed. Online people, as a service, not changed. What is your father name, Shashidhar? Jaisambara. Starting family name? Medhiraj. Your name? First family name? So, his family name not changing. Salesforce is providing everything as a service. As a service, it will not change. Mobile, how much your mobile cost, Sanjeev? 30,000. 30,000. 20,000. 20, SIM card, how much? 200. How much you are paying monthly? 700. 3 months. 3 months? Geo? Or 8? Okay. Mobile is 30,000. And the service, he is paying 799 for 3 months. Why is he paying 79, 799 only? It is as a service. Understood? Difference between product and service. Subha Reddy, your mobile also it's same price or Yeah, everybody is using 20,000 mobile. What is this? 20,000. But service, every time service is cheaper. When compared to product, service is cheaper. When Mark Benioff was working in Oracle Corporation. Who is Mark Benioff? Founder. Hmm? He is the founder of Salesforce. When he was working with Oracle Corporation, he said to Oracle, we are providing everything as a product. It is costing much for customers. They are giving feedback like, we are paying every time to you whenever you release a new features. Again, you are asking us to pay money for upgradation. What is the meaning of upgradation? New features are added to the product. But they sell that as a product with a license. That product is stored in your laptop. Whenever that product is there in your laptop, it is the on-premise application. It is a product. Getting? Paint is on-premise or uh, on-premise product or not? Paint. Paint. Paint I've opened. Paint. Paint on-premise or not? Why it is on-premise? It is there in our laptop. For example, I broke this laptop. Paint won't be there. Now I wrote some more. I am using some more. 
document file i am making if i break this laptop will i get that uh, back we will not get because that is a product on premise so he said we are we have we have all on premise applications so that uh, new customers are not coming and we cannot improve if you are like this we cannot grow so he said what we will do he, they asked he said we will provide this as a service and we will use cloud understood siddha no not understood now you have some photos in your laptop you lost that laptop somebody stole it in railway station you are lighting to some girl and <laughs> other person no stole in your laptop you will get those photos back you have photos in instagram somebody stole in your mobile your photos will be there in instagram and you will do something with that photos understood difference between cloud and other ha huh? generically you understood on premise is laptop in laptop he kept photos in instagram he kept photos instagram is a cloud but hard drive his laptop is on premise on premise applications are costly so he said we will go with cloud services so we get lot of business outside we get new customers we can generate revenue we can get profits but varakil did not accept for his proposal immediately he resigned from varakil and he started salesforce.com with two people now 70000 employees are working in salesforce 160000 clients are there for salesforce 160000 clients are using salesforce it is a huge number it is not small number if you have one client to our three families can know live happy you have one client like you. salesforce application if you know. one salesforce application we are building for any client just to i as a it company not as a salesforce our three generations will be settled down Salesforce has almost twenty three percent share in CRM space. If hundred people are hundred percent is there, in hundred percent, if some for example hundred people are using CRMs from different companies, only Salesforce CRM is used by twenty three companies. It is very huge number. you can search in google market share of sales for crm based on that only we have chosen this technology they have high revenue growth 23 billion dollar growth is there so and mark benioff is he is a person he always comes with new ideas if you are family or you are company or if you want to grow you should come with new ideas every day every day same joke if you say to your girlfriend what she will say <laughs> what is this every day so uh, how i will laugh boring boring you will not you will not grow if you say come we will go outside i have some what she will say tell every day new jokes she will say i am where should i come from i am coming <laughs> so company growth depends on the person of the or people working in the organization so many people many companies they are growing because of the company owner or team in the company if you study well your family will improve or not you are taking money and telling i am paying to sapna sales force 25000 you are enjoying outside what will happen your father will be in 25000 loss your time is wasted 
Again, one more course we will tell her. So uh, this time course fees increased to 50,000. And they will come to here, Swapna sales force. Where is he? I don't know him, I will tell. <laughs> Simple answer. <laughs> okay. So if you want to grow, you have to spend time. You have to think strongly. So Mark Benihap did that. So they are providing three services. He started with Salesforce CRM. Salesforce CRM. As part of software as a service, he started, they built Salesforce CRM. They built Salesforce CRM as part of software as a service. What is this software as a service? Whenever you say software, it is a ready-made application. Software is ready-made application or not? MCA, you did. Software means what? Just now I said. Yeah. It is a ready-made application. Software is a ready-made application. They are providing one ready-made application. They built one ready-made application and they were providing that as a service. They are selling this software as a this software. As a service, they are selling. That software is Salesforce CRM. It is the world's number one CRM since last 23 years. From last 23 years, world number one CRM is Salesforce only. Nobody can beat Mark Benya. He will live for another 40 years, as per my expectation. We will have future for next 10-15 years enough. We will become old. Swami, who is Mark Benya? Salesforce. Salesforce? Yeah, founder and owner. Okay, they have come up with Salesforce CRM. So, this Salesforce CRM should be stored somewhere else, right? When they have that product, they should store it somewhere. For that, what is required? Some infrastructure is required. If that infrastructure is not there, where they will store that application? So this is the in oh sorry. This is infrastructure. Infrastructure as a service. It is also as a service. Yes, part of infrastructure as a service, they are providing storage mechanism, storage space, storage. Storage means what in our terminology? In laptop, where data is stored? Hard disk. It is a small. That's why we are calling hard disk. If it is a bank, we call it a server. This is 1 TB, 5 TB, something like that in our laptop. In bank, it will be 100 TB like that. Hardware storage, we cannot make like application. It should be like this. Hard, you, did you see? Hard disk? In square type it is. Because it is tangible or intangible? What is tangible and what is intangible? Tangible means what? Tangible means? Which we can touch. Intangible means? We cannot touch it. Software you will touch it. How? Oh. I am touching laptop, not paint. <laughs> After marriage, your love is tangible or intangible for other girls or other people? Huh? If you, all of you are too fast, why I am like this? <laughs> If it is tangible, you are weeping with Bhagavad Gita. 
Understood. What is meaning of tangible and intangible? Infrastructure is tangible. This one, Salesforce CRM, software as a service is not tangible. It is intangible. You can feel it. You can imagine in your brain. You will go to Kashmir and enjoy in song. If your wife know that, close your life. <laughs> Like that you have to do. All tricks you have to learn. Really, what happened? <laughs> okay. In the infrastructure as a service, they, they are providing storage space. Storage space they are providing. And there are they are providing security. If you store your application there, there should be security or not. And there should be a backup if something happen, network is down. The data should come out, right? Sometimes uh, what we will say, Wi-Fi in hostels, uh, we will say network is slow because he is uh, paying, taking money and giving uh, 3 G, 3 MB speed. <laughs> Here we have 300 MB speed. Okay. And recovery. If disasters happen and your server is there and tsunami came, total collapsed, all infrastructure is collapsed. Next time if tsunami, tsunami comes, Sri Lanka will not be there. You know? If again one more tsunami came, like last time, Sri Lanka is closed to it will be like Dwarka only. Sri Lanka will not be there. So when the type of situations come, this data should be at some other place. Not only in one place. Data should be stored in multiple places. If something happened and you lost data, that data should be coming from there. Uh, that's, uh, clients will pay for that. And you should give storage space to them. You should provide security to them. You should provide backup to them. You mean any network issues are there when they are using production data. If you go to hostel and typing your registering your details, if application won't work, what they will do? Problem is with server or network. If two, three places data is available, if, if your data can store in two, three places, it will go to another place and store. If any problem is there, it will re recover from other place. These services they are providing as part of infrastructure as a service. So when they provide software as a service, automatically they should take infrastructure as a service. They will get it. So some companies, what they will do? I will use your Salesforce CRM as it is. I will not make any change. So that time they will get both software as a service and infrastructure as a service. They will say, some like people will say, we will take your CRM, but we will we want to make some changes to it. We want to add our own features. They want to add their own features. <coughs> then how they will do? They need a platform. That is development environment. Since we are developers and administrators, we work on a development environment. So, as part of platform as a service, as part of platform as a service, <coughs> they are providing development environment called force.com. They are providing development environment called force.com. This is a software 
this is platform this is infrastructure as part of software as a service what salesforce is providing here you don't look at there what they are providing as part of software as a service what they are providing yeah. salesforce crm as part of infrastructure as a service what they are providing uh, uh, uh. online people you got you have to fix this in when did you take notes notes how you will take same figure you have to take same figure you have to take did you take same figure yeah you have to take So we went so much deeper now. Same figure you have to take. Colors I don't know. You have black, red, green, blue pens. Software as a service, platform as a service, infrastructure as a service. Weren't fixed in brain or what? Book or brain. Where is Puthi? He went for water or case you are done. <laughs> oh, I have in my bag if you want. So. Water. Yesterday night I used to. <laughs> 3 by 4 will completed. 1 by 4 I kept in small body. It is in bag now. Mm -hmm. I am recording by the way. If you see me next time, you become see me. My, my life is closed. <laughs> Don't tell KCR. So, Barandi, fixed? Where? Brain or book? Brain? What about brain? <laughs> this is visualization technique. We have to visualize. If you visualize, my, I can see this figure. I can see. You can see? You can see Barco figure? Huh? By closing eyes, you can see that figure? No, no. We have to fix this figure. Fix it. Ah, my mine is fixed. If it is fixed, you have to tell storage space, security, backup, recovery continuously. You should see. You should see it by closing eyes. If you can see it, that means you have succeeded. Now, Swami, you can see it. Close eyes. What is hey, wait, what happened? <laughs> Girls are not looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, close eyes. If it is not fixed, see and uh, fix it. Everybody has to fix it now. I will ask you. <laughs> fix it. Okay, now close eyes and uh, tell the last figure. Okay. Mm. 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 Again, see. Sequence check. You have to fix like that. Everybody has to fix like that. We should be active. Morning we have to take lemon and come to classroom. Then your liver become active. If liver is active, our brain will be active. Everyone has to take lemon in the morning. Lemon. Lemon tea. Lemon, lemon tea. <laughs> or else we have to maintain quarter. <laughs> we will become super active. <laughs> Our sales force we will teach. <laughs> okay. After fixing this figure, I will take few minutes of you, please. Rajni said to close at 1 o'clock only. But uh, I am taking some more time. Now, to build this software as a service, you need three technologies. Front-end, 
बैक एंड एंड बिजनेस लॉजिक यू नीड थ्री टेक्नोलॉजी टू बिल्ड दिस Any software application you must build by using three technologies: front end, back end, and business logic. Okay. I will. Hey, what is this? This is what Salesforce before Salesforce services. This is second topic. Salesforce introduction. In Salesforce introduction, Salesforce services. You understood right? You have to write answer. What is software as a service? You have to give explanation. software as a service means it is a ready made application salesforce is providing as a service as part of software as a service salesforce is providing salesforce crm same for infrastructure as a service same for platform as a service it is a development environment provided by salesforce as part of our platform as a service salesforce is providing force.com as part of infrastructure is infrastructure as a service they are providing infrastructure services as part of infrastructure as a services salesforce is providing storage space security backup and recovery if you can explain this you can crack interview if you can if they ask you somebody ask you what are the services provided by salesforce whatever i said in 1 minute or 2 1 and 1/2 minute if you can write it after class and you can tell outside you can pay 25000 otherwise don't pay i'm clearly saying if you have any problem i will improve then ask me solution i will tell what to do you should be able to explain in interview sir i don't know much english i want solution then talk to me personally not night time <laughs> i will be in full swing i will tell you 10 lakhs i will give offer letter tomorrow <laughs> only day time okay this is like this you have to prepare documentation you write your explanation in documentation and send it to me this is your afternoon activity did you bring lunch box some some no then now not preparing early morning no hostel they are not preparing lunch then last few days sir okay he want cooks Okay. If you want to go, I can arrange you. But I have to pay money. This is one more service I am giving. All promotion I am doing everywhere. Everything is available with me. If you wanted me to cook, I can cook. I can cook too. I know cooking well. You also know cooking, huh? you can see my youtube videos as well cooking videos i am all rounder next topic what is next topic after sales for services front end back end business logic logic technologies so here when you say back end means you can your brain should go to where infrastructure as a service so they are providing force.com 
not for some database database.com they are providing where is that page they are providing database.com uh, Satya Malijasta. Hmm, Mal Malijasta. Hyderabad, Malijasta. Database.com. That is a database. That is backend. Okay. Force.com is platform development environment. Force.com is development environment. Salesforce CRM is Software as a service. It is a ready-made application. Everybody connecting, right? Nandini? Connecting, huh? So, I have to change that figure. Database.com is a database in Salesforce. Raja Swami fixed his, this photo in his brain. Just now. He is improving. He is giving so much information. Cooks are not available. Chef is not there in his hostel. So, front end technologies. Front end technologies. Back end technologies. Business logic technologies. When you come to Amir Pet, you can see all these boards, not front end, back end, and business logic, but inside that front end, what technologies are there? Tell me front end technologies. So React JS, Node JS, Angular JS, all those are scripting languages, all of those are front-end technologies. These technologies are used to build front-end. This front-end is called user interface. User interface technology is also we call. Full stack developer means what? Enterprise. Full stack developer is the person who knows front end, back end, and business logic. There is very good demand for full stack. But the problem with full stack is today React JS is there. Tomorrow Shashidhar JS will come. Again, we have to learn it. These are keep on changing. HTML, CSS, JavaScript won't change. But remaining will change. Margot, did you see boards while coming? Not only Salesforce boards, other technology boards. So what are the back-end technologies you saw in Amir Pet? Those are back end technologies. I don't know what are those. <coughs> Java is back end technology. Java Yeah, that's what. Java Spring Boot. Python Django is a framework of Python. Python class. So, I won't write Java Spring Boot, but I write MongoDB. It is a data MongoDB. That's why it is a backend technology. Backend. What is .NET backend server? Server. I am asking about server, not technology. Server. SQL. SQL. Server. What other backends are there? Oracle server is there or not? 
for this there are different technologies these are the storage mechanisms mongodb is a database sql is a database oracle is a database db2 is there db2 anybody heard about db2 they used in mainframes any others any other servers <laughs> You use PLSQL for SQL server. PLSQL, that is also technology. Okay. So, other than this, you say some, you said Java. It is used for Oracle database. Understanding? And some other you say Python Django. Python Django. It is used for MongoDB. Tomac. Yes. Python Django. Like this for SQL server, PLSQL. For Oracle also PLSQL. My SQL is a database. My SQL. No SQL is there. So like this, we have different servers. In the data is stored. To retrieve the data, we need some kind of language. So that is front end, this is back end. But between front end and back end, there should be a business logic. If you want to send data from front end to back end, if you are typing something in your front end application, if it has to go to back end, there should be a medium. If you want to go to your home, how you will go, Rajampet? Bus or train. Bus or train. If bus train is not there, Walker. Bike. Bicycle. Bike. 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 Okay. Bike. If all these are not there, how we will go? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Car. So there should be a medium to travel. To commute from here to Rajampet, we should be a there should be a medium. If medium is not there, it will not carry. How it will carry? We cannot jump from here to there directly. Any possibility is there? Intangibly, we can do. <laughs> you can go to anybody's bedroom. <laughs> directly, we cannot go. Focal word test. Dogs. <laughs> so, business logic technologies are required. So, these front end technologies are used to store data. Backend technology. Back technology. So please, thank you for that. Backend technologies are used to store data. And business logic is used for what? <laughs> it is a communication mechanism. It is a communication mechanism between front end and back end. If you do something in the software application in front end, you will see clicks, right? You will see click or you will select a button, submit. You will create a form and submit, right? For registration. For behind every click and behind every submission button, there is a business logic. That business logic, we have to think and write. How to go, how to make this data to travel from here to there. Or if you want to display data from back end to front end. And what you have to do, that's why it is called logic. Business means some activity. For that activity, you have to write logic. By itself, it will not do. We have to write. 
So that business logic programming, sir, what you know? Tell me business logic programming. Not Salesforce, other technologies. In .NET, what is uh, business APIs. logic? APIs. Huh? APIs. C sharp. API? Yeah, APIs also do. But to do that API, to build that API, we need to write some code, right? I am asking that technology. You can build API using some technology, application, interface, right? Application programming interface. Okay, you can say that also. Now, C sharp, Java also, business logic you can write by using Python. You can write business logic. So many programming languages are there like this. So what it does front-end technology, what back-end technology does, what business logic does, everybody understood? Yes, related to that we are using. Okay. Those are the back-end storage mechanisms. For that related, this one. So here, when we come to Salesforce, I don't know exactly whether we have to call them our business logic or backend languages. I don't know. Because in Salesforce as well, now we are coming to that point now. In Salesforce, what is front end technology? What is backend? What is business logic? We have to understand now. So we will divide now. We come to that point and we will understand. So next one is Salesforce technology. It's already one that. Technologies. Salesforce technologies. Did you take these notes? Everybody understood? Not deeply, but yeah. Yeah, you can go through recorded session, but uh, this this is not a deeper understanding is not required, just for general knowledge. Actually, the the breaker is like I'm from a non-IT background, so all these things are new to me, so couldn't understand properly, but yes. Yeah, no problem, Rashi. This is not that much important, but uh, okay. whenever you take, write down notes. Whenever you consider any software application, it will have three technologies, front-end, back-end, and business logic. Excellent. So these yeah. are the different technologies. If you come to Amirpet, all boards you can see. Some thousands of boards are there on Amirpet Road. Here it is all software. First software technology will be released in Amirpet, all tracked versions. So now these technologies just, these are the technologies used to build front end. These technologies are used to build back end. These are the business logic technologies. Three are there. Remember these three. Done taking notes.
try to link up and write down. Okay, done. Huh? Everyone, super ready? Prashant ready? So, next in five minutes, we will uh, finish. So here, when you come to Salesforce, Salesforce also having front end, back end, and business logic. Front end, back end, and business logic. Three are there. So we have to understand what is front end, what is back end, and what is business logic, what technologies are here. We understood what we do with front end technology, what we do with back end, and what we do with business logic. This is front end. Our UI. This is back end. When you take Salesforce, what you will get? HTML. Not that HTML. We discussed before in software as a service. Salesforce, CRM, we will get. And database.com, we will get as part of infrastructure as a service. Now, just we need to have few links with that now. This is business logic. Here we have database.com. Take this figure. Database.com we have. This is Salesforce database. Take that figure again. Front end, business logic, back end. We have database.com. See, our course is linked with one by one, right? That's why I said you have to understand syllabus clearly. What is 14th and 15th for today? To remember? What is main heading for that? So you have to remember like that. So whenever you come to tomorrow, from starting to ending, you have to revise. When you complete total admin, from starting to ending, you have to revise. How you are going to home within seconds, how you are going to your girlfriend out within seconds. So like same like from day one to day 30, everything you have to recollect in one hour. You should be like that too. If I ask what is Salesforce services are 30 days back, I studied, uh, now I don't know. Again, you will listen. After 30 days, seven you will forget. We have to tell our brain, these are the pictures, this is the visualization. We have to think there. Uh, done? So here, front-end technologies are this. And business logic is Apex. So, Varun is saying SOQL, SOSL. 
it should come in back end or business logic yes, so now you understood this soql soslr used to retrieve data from database.com if you want to retrieve data you have to use soql and sosl queries along with apex understood these three you have to mix and write java and java spring boot you have to use to retrieve data from database not required spring boot by using java spring boot as well you can retrieve mm -hmm. queries you have to use mix up you have to do and you can directly write sql query and you can retrieve on the pan but if you want to have that in application front end you if you want to do some calculations you have to use apex these three are business logic and in front end in front end html javascript css xml lwc these are the main. Which one? HTML, CSS, parts. Yeah, yeah. But those are parts. You have to learn those. Okay. It is part of LWC. You have to write HTML code. You have to write JavaScript code. You have to write CSS. Without that, you cannot do LWC. Okay. Now, here... Visual force, Aura components. This maiden will touch it, but will not explain entire. Because now every company is asking this top. So our course covers main focuses on this and this. And admin. So is it like we will not, not be learning aura and visual? Uh, your voice is breaking, Rush. Could not hear your voice. So understood. What are Salesforce front end technologies, Swami? Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. What is the business logic? Mm. Mm. What is database backend? So you you are fixed like that now. So what is fifteenth topic for today, Swami? What is fifteenth topic for today? Yeah. Mm. Try. Rashi, what is fifteenth topic today? So this is for today's session. I hope you understood all the subject for today. Your tasks are now afternoon tasks. You have to write exam after lunch. Whatever we have learned today. First you have to write 16 topics list. Next you have to write today's 15 topics list. Next, you have to uh, homework book from starting to ending, whatever I have explained now, from software as a service to 
సేల్స్ ఫోర్స్ సర్వీసెస్ బిజినెస్ లాజిక్ బ్యాక్ బిజినెస్ లాజిక్ ఫ్రంట్ అండ్ బ్యాక్ అండ్ అండ్ సేల్స్ ఫోర్స్ టెక్నాలజీస్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డ్రా దీస్ ఫిగర్స్ అండ్ వితౌట్ సీయింగ్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ దెన్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు లీవ్ ఆఫ్టర్ లంచ్ ఆఫ్టర్ రైటింగ్ దిస్ ఇఫ్ యూ డూ దిస్ టాస్క్ మీన్స్ యూ ఆర్ పర్ఫెక్ట్ టుడే నెక్స్ట్ వీ వీ హ్యావ్ టు ఫోకస్ ఆన్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్స్ వాట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు డూ ఈస్ వాట్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ క్వశ్చన్ యూ విల్ ఆస్క్ ఇన్ సాఫ్ట్ సేల్స్ ఫోర్స్ సర్వీసెస్ యూ నో సేల్స్ ఫోర్స్ సర్వీసెస్ నౌ now what you have to do is you have to write recording not been done 